2021, six journalists were killed. Three of them were directly targeted in Greece, in the Netherlands, and in Turkey. Another in Georgia died as a result of violence while covering street protests. Another two died in the landmine explosion during the nagorno karabakh conflict, a wake-up call from journalists. As in late 2021, the reality of war again loomed over the continent, and it was confirmed by the Russians' invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, and evokes dark memories of the wars in its Yugoslavia, where from 1991 to 2001, more than 150 reporters, photographers, television, camera operators, fixers, and other media workers were killed. Journalists are increasingly vulnerable to direct attacks on their physical safety and integrity. In 2021, there were 82 alerts in that category, a 51% jump compared to 2020. Many of those took place during public protests. Across much of Europe, reporting from the site of protests have become a dangerous assignment for journalists. COVID-related demonstrations provided a particular backdrop to these aggressions. Also, there was a decrease in the number of alerts concerning violence by police officers. The behavior of law enforcement agents during these protests continued to be of serious concern. Violence against journalists during street protests is fed by a wave of media bashing and an avalanche of hate speech on social networks, very often prompted by political figures, which directly target journalists, questioning their independence and legitimacy, and therefore making them more vulnerable to physical aggression.